courtesy of Dover Street Market London, interesting news regarding Supreme. It seems like Supreme from fall winter 21 onwards will now be stocked at, what was it? What locations was it? I think it was LA, London and Tokyo, I'm assuming, when it comes to Dover Street Market, which is interesting. I'm not too sure if this is a in reflection on the fact that there's been a drop in foot traffic in most retail stores, I'd imagine, especially in, in, in the UK. And you would think that even though Supreme, you know, make really covetable items and people run and rush there to go buy them and they all kind of, you know, they basically get, they basically strip the shelves dry. There is still a large proportion of people who basically would assume are tourists who basically come over to places like London in the hopes of purchasing stuff with Supreme and they basically end up buying up whatever's left over. So if the residents of the UK, people who live here, who are basically based here, go and buy all the hype stuff, all the other stuff that the foreigners don't buy or do buy when they're over here isn't being purchased by people from here, then who's going to purchase it? Do you know what I mean? You're going to need to get rid of that quote-unquote dead stock. So maybe this is their way of doing so by maybe mixing up the offerings and maybe changing it up and maybe offering a few more of the stuff that they would sell in store to foreigners and put them in Dover Street because the Dover Street market you know, attracts people from all over the world to go and shop there because of the multitude of the brands and the, 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 the name itself, blah, 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 blah. Maybe that's the approach. Or it just signifies, you know, another sort of indication of how other businesses have been negatively affected by COVID just in general. It might not be a supreme appeal thing. It might just be, it's just a COVID knock-on effect people are not around they need to increase the eyes and the hands and the foot traffic that people encounter with their brand and end up selling stuff they're making more stuff than ever before now that they've got more stores i'm not too sure what the idea is behind it but it is interesting to see obviously there's a link there, there's a connection i'm assuming and adrian joff and all those guys that are part of dover street are very familiar with the people that own supreme james jebby and whatnot so there's definitely a personal relationship that might be explaining what this uh, this kind of marriage is but it does seem weird a brand that's supreme that's very kind of protective about who, who and where their items are being able to be sold is going to basically decide to have a permanent kind of residency within Dover Street Market stores. I know before they've done little collaborations and pop-ups and special occasion items usually get sold sometimes in Dover Street but this is like a long-term thing now going forward. I wonder what that's about. I wonder what that's about. Then to kind of continue on the Supreme news, Supreme released the full 21 preview and lookbook. You know, most people, and like myself included, were super excited. So I'm going to go through a couple of the pieces that I love. Normally, you know, this is standard fare when it comes to Supreme. It's definitely the stronger, it's definitely stronger in the winter. I feel like the spring summer stuff is okay, but you can probably give that a miss. There's not many, there's not a lot of stuff that most, there's not a lot of stuff I'd assume a lot of streetwear people will really be into when it comes to the spring. But it also, is a good opportunity for you to get something right because winter usually is a stuff that's most covetable but if you actually want to purchase something in store you've got a higher chance of getting stuff based on it being spring summer than it being winter because the winter stuff is just too hard and everyone's a fan of it um stuff that i liked immediately off the bat that i was really impressed by that i would gladly 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 go and purchase was this featherweight down jacket that kind of reminded me of this old uniqlo jacket that i had prior um similar kind of styling behind it and this comes in purple the only thing that i don't like about it is the massive branding on the sleeves but this is something that you have to just kind of get over if you want to buy modern day supreme they love the branding now the kids love the branding if you want the jacket you have to have the branding it is what it is the gore-tex um 700 down field jackets are really nice um this standout piece def definitely um this is the nas dmx um jacket with the print with the screen grab kind of taken from the film belly if i'm not mistaken um all over print like really really well done it's definitely an indication or kind of highlighting just how far kind of supreme's in-house production of being able to make these sort of like tape seamed waterproof or water resilient jackets have gotten to i think in years gone by they would have done this as a collaboration with north face but they're bringing a lot of that stuff in-house now and basically designing these jackets from the ground up right um which is great to see so that is obviously a standout then of course the jacket next to it is warp hoodie in the pink is flipping flames um and then of course you've got this jacket here that reminds me of like a head portal one with all the pockets all over it 
um you've got this one too featuring the artwork of christopher wall with spray paint all over it cheetah print half zip that was pretty decent you've got a jacket like this i think which which features the stash um artwork on the back which reminds me of a jacket i have at the moment um which I'm, i forgot who it's made by but it was released in the early 90s kind of you know a quintessential sort of japanese um streetwear kind of rain jacket -y thing with the camo right it's a quintessential thing that you would kind of see people featured in the sort of urahara um late na early 90s late 90s sort of tokyo based um streetwear magazine so that's definitely something that i'd keep my eye on in that regard you can miss me with all the ny motif jackets and whatnot there's nothing more cringe than seeing somebody lives in london with a jacket like that right it's just it's, it's kind of it's kind of sad it's kind of similar to people that wear you know aston martin flipping merch and they go on the bus it's like eh? then of course this jacket as well is really cool um similar to 700 down i just don't like the logos i can pass with all of that but again overall in terms of appeal the knits the shirts um they've got this sort of amazing kind of cholo-esque shirt too with the short sleeve and a thermal underneath these cardigans are going to go crazy the kids love cardigans tyler's probably going to wear a couple and nas probably going to wear a couple then they're going to start arguing again online can't wait for that um you've got this great cycling jacket with skittles some awesome awesome stuff all around man really really great stuff um let's take quickly take a look at the lookbook so we can see how all this stuff looks on person on the models we have a Da, 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 da. yeah this, this looks, just all looks great man you can't really say it doesn't in it it's all always well done greatly done the jackets are always awesome very tasteful yeah that kind of that jacket there with all the pockets all over it is banging but again just that logo in it all these logos on the side are just too much Gore-Tex as well but it's just too many too many prints I just don't want so much branding but it's an age thing I guess over time you just get over the fact that you know you don't want everyone to keep knowing what you're wearing yeah that's the logo so the back of that camera jacket it's basically a stoosh a stash sorry um font on the back of stash original artwork let's say yeah and that's the jacket that one in purple it looks banging doesn't it really really good man you can't deny it again now on the front with the contact lens is like oof that jacket is going to be flying off the shelf. It's definitely going to be something that a lot of people are going to try and purchase. Some some successfully, some not so successfully. Let's see Wagwan when everything drops. But yeah, Supreme Pool Winner 21 collection is out now for all your... Oh, no, out now. It's going to be out this Thursday, the first few items. So definitely check that out if you're that way inclined. More likely you aren't going to get them. But, you know, you could always try. You could always try. 